Yo, Paul, whatever your name is, I forget. I'm gonna draw some attention to you right now. And I'm gonna be real honest with you, dude. You come off creepier than shit. You come off very creepy. I mean, dude, there's something about you that gives people a weird feeling. I mean, when people told me about a couple of your videos, I wanted to check for myself. I had came across the, the one or two of your videos in the past, and I'm just watching, you know, trying to figure out which uh, group or, um, what is it called, how they group you, in other words, because it, it, it wonders me, because I did some checking on a few things, and um, I noticed a lot of these uh, quick partners, I call them quick partners, because uh, I was filling out something, and I was doing something, that came across the list of partners, and yada, 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 and all this and that shit, so in this list was a lot of people and then I go to their um, pages and a lot of these people didn't have any videos a lot of these people didn't have that many subscriptions but yet they're still partners I came across one of your video and you were saying that only partners should have autoplay and all this and other stuff you know the banner off to the side and all that or whatever um, how did you become a partner I mean you come off hella creepy dude that whole Forbidden Love series, it was sad and made yourself look like a pedophile. Um, the way you talk real slow, look as if your medication is kicking in and shit. I mean, it's just something creepy about you, dude. And and I'm not saying this in a mean way or, or try to belittle you or whatever you're doing on your page. This is your business. This is what you do. But you come off like somebody with a problem. I mean, and it's weird because, I don't know, if I knew you personally, you probably would, I probably wouldn't have that feeling, but I get a weird, eerie feeling watching your videos, dude, and I just want to be honest with you, dude, you come off creepy, man, I mean, like, like, uh, what's the, what's the name I want to use, Norman Bates, you come off like Norman fucking Bates, dude, and I'm saying to myself, you know, he, he does these videos, and and I'm trying to figure out why or how you've gotten some of the hits you got. I mean, are you, what are you doing? I mean, what is there in your videos that, is, that draws people to them? I mean, I can't see it. I mean, I, I've watched four of your videos, but I can't see the attraction there. And like I said, you come off scary, dude. Like, like you're going to jump through there and steal somebody's rat or something. Or just kill them. It's weird. I don't know how to explain it. But I get such a bad feeling looking at you that it. I'm, I'm not trying to come off and, and tell you how to do your thing. But there is something enormously creepy about you, dude. And I don't know what it is. Maybe I need to go back in and check a couple more videos. Or maybe you were just tired on the videos that I saw. There was no no energy. There was like, it's just me, it's Paul, saying what I got to say. You know, and blah, blah. I think, and you know. That shit scares the shit out of me, man. I don't know what is it. But maybe it's the eyes. The way you look like in some drug-induced haze sometimes. Like, it's like, I don't know. I don't know. But... You know, the whole forbidden love thing was, was wrong, man. I mean, you know, young girls have gotten at me. They told me to hook them up and kick it with them. And you have to just flat out say, no. Just because you're a man and you got a penis and you feel like you dominate the world, sometimes us men need to just say no. Um, yes, an older man can be seduced by a young lady. Yeah, it happens. Shit happens. But, dude, it's just something enormously creepy about you. Um, now, about the honesty. You're telling a woman that she looks fucked up or, or ugly or toe up in a dress or whatever, she should already know. If the woman knows what her man likes or what her man's going to think of something, why even ask the question, does my ass look fat in this dress? I mean, why? And if you have a good woman and you say, you know, baby, that dress is making you look kind of big. If she is a big woman and want to put herself in a little dress and she's feeling good about it, 
Tell her the truth. You look good in that dress. Because if a woman got a big ass in a dress, she gonna have a big ass when she take that dress off. That's the bottom line. There is no gray area. You look good or you don't look good. Honey, that dress doesn't serve you any justice. That's it. Your ass looks huge in that dress. I don't even think any man would even say that. That's some bullshit ass uh, sitcom comedy. You can see uh, Jim Belushi sitting back in the chair and his wife comes through. Honey, how does this make me, this dress make me look? And Jim, Jim says, that makes your ass look huge. I mean, I don't know, man. I don't know about your videos, but I know one thing about your videos. This will probably be the last time I comment on them because there's something about you, dude, that just ain't 100%. And, hey, there's something about me that ain't 100% either. But, hey, that's just me. I can say these things. You probably can, too. But you probably won't. But you might. I don't, I don't care. The moral of the story is this, dude. You come off creepy to some people. And um, that's probably why some of these ladies, you know, unsubbed. You know, you said some good things in that one video I watched, but I'm not going to tell you which one. And you said some fucked up shit in that forbidden love shit, 16-year-old girls. You got to know when to say no. Oh, and I'll let you know if I'm the guy or not in a future video. You shouldn't even play with people like that, dude. I mean, that shit is beneath you. I don't even know you, but I know that's beneath you. Now, the bottom line is this, dude. You come off creepy. You wonder why people unsubscribe to you. You can say a few good things, but when you come off creepy, that shuts a lot of people down. Uh, I'm trying to find a few more people to watch, a few more channels to subscribe to. And, you know, hey, like I said, you popped up a couple times. I'm like, well, let me check this guy out. And I can't fuck with you, dude. But you probably don't watch my videos either. So, hey, I guess we're even. But other than that, Paul, you know, you keep doing what you're doing the way you do it. And that's on you. But other than that, I just want to be, hey, be honest with you from another YouTuber's perspective. Oh, yeah, I'm not a partner like you. So, um, from another YouTuber's perspective... You come off creepy, they're allowing you to do it. They want you to stick your foot in your own mouth, and they're waiting to line your ass up. And one man to another man, don't put yourself in that position. You won't have people saying you come off like Norman Bates. I mean, you need to show a little bit more than what you've been showing, but that's on you. You do your thing your way, and I do my thing my way. So, like I said, I hope you enjoy your partnership. And you're right. Only partners deserve autoplay. But understand this, sometimes when people click on a partner channel, they don't, they don't want the shit to pop up automatically. They want to surf, you know, without some voice talking in the background and shit forcing them to look up because they're going to search through the video. So, autoplay is not necessarily needed for partners or non-partners. But the fact that if, you know, that two weeks when everybody had autoplay or a week when everybody had autoplay, it didn't mean anything. Just because you're a partner, that don't mean you deserve anything special. And how much are you getting fucking paid off this anyway for you to think that you're an elite? You're not elite. Sorry. Um, there are some people out here that are partners who make real money. Real money. Chris Crocker, real money. Soldier Boy, real money. Uh, these record companies, BMG and, and all of them, real money. Um, a lot of these uh, quote unquote booty shaking sites if you notice when they're shaking their asses a lot of these people are not partners but can you imagine if they had an ass shaker partner think about it that'd be some real money but you look at the big picture man you come off like uh, you know what Norman Bates like I said Norman Bates with a touch of um, damn what's the guy's name with the touch of this one guy, what's his, I keep forgetting his name, but you come off scary, dude, you scare people, and maybe that's why people are starting to tune off of you, I don't know, I might, I have to go back in and look at a couple more videos before I try to pass any judgment on anybody, but I'm not a judge, I can only judge from my perspective, and from my perspective, you come off creepy, hey dude, you've been tubed, and I've wasted enough of your time that you get back to your videos, you keep on doing what you do, man, and uh, if I run into your videos again, I might watch them. I might not. You've been too.